Well, it's that time. Take the tractor port down. Um, interestingly, it made it pretty well. Yeah. Lasted through a couple of really heavy snows. One was 10 inches, the other one was like 12. Uh, three bouts of uh, um, wind storms, 60 plus mile an hour. So, I'm going to take it down because I don't need it anymore and I don't want the grass to die. And uh, I'll box it up and save it for another time. So, what am I doing with the tractors? Well, that's a good question. Well, they went under the deck. So if I open up, there they are. Everything fits under here nicely too. Um, so I've got the uh, orange tractor, the blue one, the trailer that I bought last summer, uh, a dethatcher tool which I found on the side of the road somebody was throwing out. Uh, it'll fit on the little one just perfectly. Um, and uh, I wasn't going to grab it, but I thought, you know, I've never dethatched my lawn, so why not? It was free you can't really pass up and it's in good condition so why not um the plow and the snow thrower are all under there i've got tarps for these two uh tractors i gotta let them cool off i just pulled them under here and i give them a good running um interestingly um that twenty dollar uh trailer came in real handy and i will uh, i'll show you why in a minute so this is all the stuff that was under the deck um, basically it's the uh, old deck so um, off our deck we had a uh, another deck that came around and went around the pool a 15-foot pool um, but the people that put the deck up decided it was a good idea to use regular uh, drywall screws uh, to hold it together so when the pool fell apart and the deck started falling apart we just took the whole thing down and uh, I've been meaning to get rid of it but Next weekend, uh, the village is having an annual spring cleaning, which means I can take all of this junk and more down to the uh, to the uh, dumpsters and uh, unload it. And well. I don't think this is what the sport suspension package is for. Um, but it's holding up, and these are the original struts on the back. Shocks, whatever they are. I guess they're coil and shocks. But this is one load. I've got another one to go, so time to get going. Bike still here, still clean. Uh, I need a battery for it. Um, I've just been so busy. The weather was crap until about three days ago, but uh, I've just been so busy I haven't been able to get a battery for it. So uh, I'm going to go into the store to get the battery because I'm going to try to get away from the um, lead acid battery. I'm going to try to get like a maintenance free battery, but they, they need you to know the exact size of the battery. So I figure it's just easier to take it off, take it into the store. Uh, try and do that during the week this week. Um, also been working on some dresser drawers. Uh, my daughter wanted her dresser repainted, so now it's this color instead of the blue it was. So, I don't know. But uh, that and just getting ready to move. Um, it's a crazy amount of stuff we've built up over the last 20 years being here, so it's taking me a lot longer to do to get to get things to a point where I can put the house up for sale than I thought. So I'm just really going to have to accelerate things, which means for the next few weekends, you know, I'll maybe watch a couple of videos in the morning and a couple before I go to bed, but the whole rest of the time I'm going to be just busy, just busy. Um, doing stuff around here. and Luckily, things have tapered off at work, so I'm not working weekends anymore. So... Uh, now that I've got the uh, network and the servers and the phones all stable and everybody's happy. Um, I still have to work on the workstations. Somebody thought it was a good idea at work to uh, create an image and then use that image for every workstation. Which, since they're all Dells and they're all the same sort of model, you know, it's probably okay, but the image was bad to begin with. And uh, it's just, it's, 
So I've got over a hundred machines I've got to go through and uh, and redo, um, and I'm just going to do them one at a time and just reinstall Windows from scratch and just I'm just not going to be bothered to uh, do an image uh, for the one time I'm going to do it. So having said that, this is uh, my quick update for the weekend, uh, just to say hey and yeah I'm. Just going to be swamped the next few weeks, so unfortunately I won't be doing much else. So, Anyway, everybody, I uh, hope everybody had a good weekend. It was actually, the weather here has been great, which is great for the gardening. It sucks because I want to be out on this. <laughs> but you can't run these bikes um, on the stator um, and without a bad battery. That's basically what you're doing. Um, and uh, even though this is an LED, pretty much everything's LED now. Um, it's still not good to run it off the stator, so uh, I take it out and ride it up and down the street a couple of times, and that's about it. I, I don't want to run it too much longer than that. So, all right, I think that's it. I've rambled enough. Talk to you later. Bye.